inspired by nature. June 16, 2015 The earthly, natural world that is all around you in the forests, parks, and even in your own backyard, wields an intrinsic, elemental attraction that is recognized by your inner self. Your very own body is just as included as being part of the natural world as the natural flora and fauna that grows near or far from you, as all requires a balance of sun, water, air and nourishment that comes from the earth. The music that fills the air, birds chirping, leaves blowing in the breeze, the gentle rolling of water from a nearby stream, or even the sound of rain as it drops on your windowsill or rooftop spreads a feeling of peaceful grace upon your often complex life. Of course, there is the sound of busyness with the rush of people and automobiles, but when you take all that away, what you have is the beautiful sound of life, naturally moving and living that is a reminder of your own natural, ever-changing beauty. It is understood not everyone has a mountain or lake as a background to look out from, but there are parks, trails, and other natural delights that many communities have kept developed and held to continue so you may find inspiration from nature. Nature has always had a way to uplift you. When you observe the simplicity of nature, you come to realize just how boundless it really is, how free each living creature and plant is, to be what it is meant to be, to not compete, or to know how it feels to be put down, judged, or ridiculed by peers. Everything that grows and thrives does not rush. It does not need encouragement from others to reach for the sun or sway in the breeze, it just does as it is meant to do. Nature has so much to teach you in regards to the appreciation of time. You can watch the tiniest of creatures, or plants, animals or even the stars, and still be in awe how everything is open, balanced, and working cohesively together. Next time when you are near a tree, don't be shy. Stand next to it, you can hug it if you like. It does have energy to share with you that will help to uplift moods and spirits if you are feeling down and energyless. But when you stand next to a tall tree, it stands next to you without judgment. It accepts you as you are, and you accept it as it is. Trees remind you of the importance of being grounded and rooted in your truth and beliefs. Even though majority of trees cannot move like humans, they are capable of producing offspring and meeting each cycle of change, strong and unwaveringly committed. Trees are not a boring part of nature. They have inspired so many people, not just by their majestic height, but by their prevailing presence and ever-persistent groundedness. Nature also can teach you about love and faith in yourself and in others. Human life tends to be fragile and fleeting. You never know when your time will come to venture to the other side of life. But if you look at nature, they don't worry about when their lifetime will be over, they live in a robust kind of way, embracing each day with equal enthusiasm. If you watch animal young, you will see not just their beautiful personalities, but how they practice becoming the adult of their species. They explore, discover, and become by experience and learning what they need to do and what they want to stay away from if possible. There are some people among you that are open to creatures naturally, and this openness helps them as they learn to interrelate with others as life takes them on many wondrous journeys and memorable experiences. Being naturally open to nature and to the different creatures and life that is a part of nature also can become an incredible source of light and healing when life becomes difficult and challenging. Aboriginals of many countries and cultures have always held great admiration and respect for the plant and animal life that grew and thrived around them. Even in modern times, many plants and animals are considered sacred and essential. When you are under a canopy of trees in a forest or deep in a park setting, Think of that canopy as being a temple that already comes with a harmoniously grand silence that beckons you to listen, so the quietude of sounds can lift you higher into deeper, more profound stillness of the divine that is eternal. Even if you have no heavily treed park or a forest path to walk through, you can look into your backyard, even the streets and what parks your cities do have and fine nature has displayed herself in ever-changing beauty that has learned how to adapt and grow. There are many lanes and streets that are decorated with roots of trees. In the smallest of cracks, plant life can grow, and in some cities, falcons are known to nest. 
nature is all around you. Allow its pull to draw you from your heart and bring you back to the knowing that you are a part of nature as well. As the sun rises in the sky, illuminating the beauty of nature that has always been next to you, also allow it to lighten a path to your inner self, a path that reminds you of the Divine's benevolence, that is always giving, always loving, and endlessly forgiving. Allow the external light of the sun awaken your inner light that will encourage you into heart-filled action towards yourself and towards all others. And so it is. I am Ascended Master, El Moria through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com